Hey all, this is Anjali and today we are going to do shell sort. So this is another sorting technique to arrange your numbers in increasing or decreasing order. We have already discussed two sorting techniques that is selection sort and bubble sort. So this is the third kind of sort following the same uh, strategy that is comparing the elements at different positions and swapping them whenever required. So how shell sort works is in shell sort we start from a gap between the numbers which is equal to n minus 1. So if I have 10 numbers I'll be comparing elements at gap of 9 in my first step and gradually this gap is going to decrease like in the next step we'll have gap 8 and we'll be comparing the elements which are at the distance of 8 index then it will be 7, 6 and so on till it becomes 1. So this is how the comparison goes in case of shell sort. So when I have step 1, the gap is initially 9 for 10 numbers. We directly make a comparison of A0 and A9. In the given example, A0 is 67 and A9 is 47. Since it's greater, the values are swapped and 47 comes at 0 and 67 goes at 9. Unlike selection or bubble sort where we used to get, you know, uh, one of the final number at either of the ends, like in selection sort, the smallest number used to come at the beginning at every step and in bubble sort, the greatest number used to come at the end in every step. Here, nothing like that happens. We'll just keep making the comparisons and gradually by the end of the whole procedure, your array will be sorted. So we are arranging the array in increasing order here. So that is the only comparison we can perform in step 1, that is A0, with A9. So step 1 has only one comparison. Then we go to step 2. Now in case of step 2, the gap decreases and it becomes 8, n minus 2. So the gap is 8 and now we make a comparison with the gap of 8. So we compare A0 with A8. Yeah, 47 is greater than 34. We interchange the values. So we get 34 here and we get 47 here. Now, since the gap is 8, one more comparison is possible. That would be A1 and A9. So that would be done in step 2's second comparison. So we'll be comparing A1 with A9 because they are also at a gap of 8. Since 23 is not greater than 67, we don't change the values. Step 2 is over. Then we go to step 3. Now the gap becomes 7. So n minus 3. So gap has decreased one more. Now we are going to compare the numbers at gap of 7. So a0 will be compared with a7. It is required to swap. So we will swap the values. 12 comes at 0 and 34 goes at 7. The next comparison possible would be a1 with a8. That is at the gap of 7. a1 and a8 are compared. 23 is less than 47. We don't need a comparison. We don't need a swap in this case. So they remain the same. Next comparison possible is A2 with A9 at the gap of 7. Here 90 is greater than 67, so we interchange the values. 67 comes here and 90 goes here. So that's the end of step 3. Then in step 4, there will be 4 comparisons in total starting from A0. So A0 is compared with A6, that is a gap of 6. No swapping required. Then A1 is compared with A7. Then A2 is compared with A8. All are at the gap of 6. 67 is greater than 47, so we interchange the values. Then A3 is compared with A9. So these were the four comparisons in step 4. Then comes step 5, which will have five comparisons, each at the gap of 5. A0 is compared with A5. No swapping required, then A1 is compared with A6. In this example, we don't need a swap. A2 is compared with A7. There is a swap, 34 comes here and 47 goes at A7. Then A3 is compared with A8 and A4 is compared with A9. Now comes step 6, which will be having 6 comparisons at the gap of 4. So we'll have A0 compared with A4, then A0 compared with A4. Uh, sorry, A1 compared with A5, then A2 compared with A6, then A3 compared with A7. It is greater, so we will interchange the values. 47 comes at position 3 and 60 goes at position 7. Then A4 is compared with A8 and finally A5 is compared with A9.
step 6 becomes over here then comes step 7 having 7 comparisons now at the gap of 3 so a0 compared with a3 a1 compared with a4 a2 compared with a5 a3 compared with a6 a4 with a7 a5 with a8 and a6 with a9 this step did not have any swapping it depends on the numbers so here we didn't have a swap for step 7 but it's not the thing which is going to be there always it all depends on the numbers you're comparing then we have step 8 8 comparisons will be there at the gap of 2 so a0 is compared with a2 a1 with a3 a2 with a4 a3 with a5 a4 with a6 a5 with a7 and then a6 with a8 here 78 is greater than 67 so we make a swap then a7 is compared with a9 end of step 8 finally comes step 9 which will have 9 comparisons and it is going to compare all adjacent positions so a0 will be compared with a1 a1 with a2 a2 with a3 a3 with a4 and this needs a swap then a4 with a5 a5 with a6 a6 with a7 will give us a swap a7 a8 and a8 a9 finally the list is sorted you can see all the numbers are arranged in an increasing order so this is how we got the sorted array with the help of shell sort as you could see the number of comparisons we require are n into n minus 1 upon 2 because total there were n minus 1 steps in first step we had one comparison in second we had two in third we have three so it's one plus two plus three plus four so on up to n minus one that is n minus one natural numbers the sum of n minus one natural numbers is this n into n minus one upon two that is the total number of comparisons we require to perform shell sort now this is the basic algorithm for shell sort we have to read the array first then I take I for the gap i is initially n minus 1 i'm going to repeat the steps till i is greater than 0 we set j as 0 initially and we're going to repeat these steps till j doesn't reach n minus i so i is initially 9 first time 10 minus 9 will be 1 so first time the loop will work one time that means only one comparison will be performed when i becomes 8 so this condition is true j is 0 n minus 8 that is 10 minus 8 will be 2 so it will perform two comparisons in the next iteration three comparisons then four and so on up to n minus 1 and here j always starts from 0 so when j is 0 it compares it with a j plus i let's say it's the first iteration i is 9 condition is true j is 0 this condition is also true so it compares a 0 with a 9 if it is true Swapping would be done, j becomes 1 and 1 less than 1 is false, it gets over, i becomes 8, 8 is greater than 0, j again becomes 0 and this time the loop will work twice. So a0 will be compared with a8 and a1 will be compared with a9 and so on the process will be repeated and finally we will have our array in sorted order. Now let's see how the program works for this in C language. So it's simple, we have an array, we input the array, we ask the user how many numbers are there, get the numbers in the array, then we have to put the loop for the sorting. So it's the same as we discussed in the algo. We start the loop for sorting from i as n minus 1, go up to greater than or equal to 1, it's decreasing by 1 every time, j starts from 0, j less than n minus i and we compare here aj with aj plus i. So whenever the condition is true, values will be interchanged. If it is false, they won't be interchanged. So as we just discussed, the loops will work in the same way and your array would get sorted. And at the end, we are printing the sorted array. Let's run this code. So if I say I have seven numbers, it will ask me like how many numbers are there. I say there are seven numbers. The numbers entered are these I have to enter seven numbers here these are six okay then I have this right so you can see the numbers are in increasing order in any of the sortings if you need that the array should be in decreasing order you just need to make a change here 
instead of greater than put the less than sign and your list would be sorted in decreasing order so that's how we perform sorting with the help of shell sort i hope you understood the basic algo and the program in case of any doubts do write in the comment section i'll get back to you and if you found the video useful don't forget the lls rule that is like share and subscribe thank you